Hello, my name is Nick Dietrich. I'm a bartender at Cane and Table in New Orleans and one of Star Chef's 2016 Rising Stars. Today we'll be making the Stung Twice cocktail with the Vitamix Bar Boss. I'm going to use the Bar Boss to take this pineapple and turn it into two different ingredients. The first being uh, fresh pineapple juice, and then we're going to take the leftover pulp to make a clarified pineapple syrup. So starting off, we'll break down the pineapple. You don't have to worry about the core just because the Bar Boss will uh, incorporate that as well. So we're going to run one or two cycles on the Bar Boss on the high speed. It just depends on how soft your pineapple is. So we're going to turn the Bar Boss to the high power blend setting. Uh, it's gonna run for about 20 seconds. The reason we wanna use the Bar Boss today for our pineapple juice is because we want uh, the pulp to have a lot of pineapple left into it, a lot of juice. Uh, so when we make our clarified syrup, it will maintain a lot of that flavor and uh, we still have a lot of juice to use for our drink. So now we'll go ahead and strain it. And you can see with the Bar Boss, your juice is coming off really nice and foamy here too. So now that we've got our pineapple juiced, uh, I've set that aside. Um, we're going to go ahead and separate our eggs. We're using the egg whites to make our clarified pineapple syrup. So crack your eggs, separate. And I'm using uh, three just so I can build a nice big raft. Uh, so now that we've got our egg whites separated, I'm gonna go ahead and load them to our Bar Boss container. So for this one, I don't need to run it quite as long as when I was juicing. So I'm just gonna set it to 15 seconds. Now I have perfectly whipped eggs and I can still lift my arm. And so now I'm gonna set the egg whites aside. And what you're looking for is a fair amount of foaminess, uh, almost like a meringue. So now I'm gonna take that leftover pineapple pulp, put it in here to uh, add a little bit of water as well. And then I'm just gonna pulse it briefly so that I make sure that everything is well incorporated. We'll add this to our pot using an induction burner that we're gonna to set to 250 degrees. So we've got our egg whites all whipped up. We're gonna add them into our pulp here. And now what I'm gonna do is just using a spoon, start stirring it all around to uh, spread out that egg white because what I want is for the egg white proteins to bind to all of the particulate. And when it all becomes a sort of like uniform color and consistency, then you know that you're there and we'll strain off that particulate. What we'll do for some VIPs is we'll make a pina colada from scratch. So in order to do that, we have to make a coconut puree. So we'll start by uh, cracking open the coconut. Take the coconut water and set that aside. We'll go ahead and start uh, scraping the meat off. And the nice thing about using the coconut in this way is if you want, you can serve the drink in it this way too. So I've got uh, 80 grams of coconut meat, so I'm gonna need just 40 grams of our coconut water weighed out. And this is really just gonna help to boost that flavor a great deal. Now we uh, take our coconut water, drop in our coconut meat, pop that on. And for this one, I'm gonna keep it on the high power blend setting uh, just to make sure that everything gets incorporated really well. As you can see, everything is really well blended. It's nice, rich, and creamy. And now we're ready to make the cocktail. So now we're gonna start assembling the drink and we're gonna assemble it all in the Bar Boss so we can do it in one seamless go. We're gonna start with our Eldorado 12 year and two ounces and an eighth of an ounce of creme de menthe, our fresh pineapple juice, an ounce of our coconut puree, a half ounce of our clarified pineapple syrup. And then we're going to pick five mint leaves. Now we'll add our ice. It's about a hefty scoop. And uh, for this one, I'm gonna set it to the 15 second setting. So as you can see, we have a really nice thick consistency. So we'll take a mint bouquet. We're just gonna beat it gently, just enough so that it becomes aromatic. Go ahead and bunch it up and mount it there in the top. And this is the Stung Twice made with the Vitamix Bar Boss. Cheers.